Hello and welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. My name is Lisa and this is Glenn. And together we sold a house, we got rid of all of our stuff and we moved onto a narrow boat called Nutshell. Ta -da. And here we are. We may look a little tired, a little knackered and that is because we've just got in from a when you say just got in, we mean just, just got in. We like walked through the door. I was like, Glenn, sit video, down. Video. We need to do the video. So we've just walked in the door. We've been out all day with the kids, but you'll see all of that later. This week. Come on, bloody quickly. Don't it you? has, yeah, yeah. But they, right. they do when you get older, Glenn. Do they, they just pass quicker and quicker. Oh, so. Man. <laughs> lots of rain mm. lots of trying to sort out our holiday a bit of engine stuff and not a lot else really oh and a fabulous day out but anyway i'm going to stop talking and let you watch it for yourself yeah here's how the week unfolded good morning and welcome to sunday do you know what we had a choice of three glorious things to do today number one i found out there was some clay pigeon shooting going on i know mr warner likes that me just fancied a try secondly it was an arts heritage open day at an art centre nearby fancied that but harry rang and said do you fancy coming over and seeing the kids? I was like, oh yes I do. So we're planning to be back in Northampton early afternoon because Glenn is gonna do some stuff with the caravan, with Chloe and Aaron. And then this evening, we're going round to a neighbor's boat for, for coffee and cake. Coffee, cake and a ketchup. <sighs> that sounds pretty fine Sunday to me. Oh, the weather is horrible. This, Mr. Warner, is not the weather to be repairing caravan flooring in. I know I haven't filmed much today, but I feel it's been super productive. We've seen Harry, I've seen my friend Dawn, Glenn's fitted a new floor to the caravan, we've seen Debbie at the shop, and now we're back at the boat, and we're going out this evening to see a neighbour. That show is looking so much better now we've cleaned her. I know it's rained today, but honestly, she was filthy. Oh, these are from a friend that Glenn helped yesterday. Didn't on that. No. Good morning and welcome to monday so we've woken up to news this morning that thomas cook have gone into liquidation <sighs> that's our menorca holiday scuppered scuppered, scuppered at the moment, at the moment. but there are bigger issues in the world to be honest we're more concerned with the people whose livelihoods have have been affected by this just think about the scale of it all the hotel owners the people that work in the hotels all the touristy stuff that it's benefited from Thomas Cook passengers, all the people that work for Thomas Cook. I, I, it's extensive. And these people have mortgages and bills and stuff to pay for. Although I'm a little bit sad, it's bearable. Anyway, got a whole load of washing to do this morning. And Glenn's just flicked on his emails and said, all oh, the water's off on at the marina for an hour. So, but all, all of this is not going to derail me this week. Oh no, I'm feeling good and i'm not letting small things like a cancelled holiday and no water derail me i'm simply not so we're off to the shops first thing this morning to get some groceries in the cupboards are bare i've got such a yummy dinner planned for tonight i'm looking forward to it already anybody else get that way please tell me i'm not the only one who gets excited about cooking and eating a yummy meal at like nine o'clock in the morning anyway let's go that's the week shopping done i'm planning a saturday day trip to cotswold wildlife park for this saturday i'm keeping my fingers crossed that the weather's going to be good the kids are going to bloody love it here i've got pilates at 10 45 so we better get a move on mr warner good morning and welcome to tuesday it is thanks glenn you. It is absolutely 
chucking it down outside. It's been like Leak City. Yes. Glenn got up and did a, a leak check. We have many. Every, pretty much every window, every Just hatch. The, the bathroom windows aren't leaking. Well, we don't know. It'll be behind the thing, you just can't see it. Okay. Yeah, pretty much everywhere. <clears throat> We've got a, a drip that's been coming down on here. Safety first there, Glenn. We've got one one here. That is quite wet actually, isn't it? Um, towel we, over there. We've got there, where's the towel? Oh, on top of sofa. Oh, ta towel on top of sofa. Yes. And then back to repack. There was drip there, drip there, drip there, drip there, drip there. I'm going to Pilates today. Went yesterday as well. But before we do anything, we're going to drink coffee and just stare out the window at the grey rainy weather. I've just got back from Pilates and I'm feeling fine. Glenn's mastic in the windows out there. Ah, it stopped raining, the sun came out and all is well in the world. We are off to Pub Tuesday and we're meeting Joe and Neil there where we're going to attempt for the second time to book our holiday. I, I, I don't want to sound negative and say I'm not holding up much hope but the prices of holidays have like skyrocketed because of the Thomas Cook thing. Anyway, we're going to see what we can do. So, I found this hotel. Yeah. It's um, on flying out on Monday the 7th from Southend at 6.45 in the morning. Yeah. And it flies back on Monday the 14th at 10.50 morning, so great flights. Yeah. It's in Mallorca, so I might yeah. have down the bottom sentry. left hand side. Yeah. This hotel's on the top yeah. right yeah. hand side, so it's not in your <laughs> place. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm up for it. So, book it, book it. So we just need to have a look at it, see what you think. Good morning. It is another grey, rainy day. But, but we may have booked our holiday. So last night you saw us getting really excited that we'd found a holiday. Well, we booked it, but it didn't say it was booked when you, you did the transaction. What was the word in? Requested. Your holiday has been requested. So I'm I'm wondering if the site we've gone through is like a third party. Oh yeah, it's not, I think it's easy. Or, they put, yeah. They put the holiday together, I think. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm, I'm sort of thinking that we've got a holiday sorted. What am I up to today? Well, I'm off to my mum's and Glenn is going to the flower shop to do some deliveries and I think get the brakes done on the van, I think. Anyway, so dad jobs. I'm not sure what my mum's got in store, what she fancies doing. We better go and find out. Oh, oh, I know what I meant to tell you. So, I've done Pilates two days running and I've eaten no sugar for two days running. And I arrived at the pub yesterday and Joe and Neil were like, Lisa, you look fantastic. Have you been dieting? And I'm like, yes two days worth imagine imagine what a week's worth of looking after myself properly would do so i've just arrived at my mum's it's pouring outside they had flooding in wellingborough yesterday anyway my mum says she's bought me a gift let's have a look oh excellent a moment of calm after the storm brilliant and there's more <gasps> Caramel and sea salt biscuits. Mmm, mmm. I'm going to save these. You know what I'm going to save these for? Next, Next Tuesday. Tuesday for Bake Off. And what have we got? <gasps> loose tea. We know how much I love my loose tea. That is lovely. Thank you, Mum. We're having a Facebook lesson. Mum is really good on Facebook. <laughs> But I've just showed her where events are and also I'm going to show her how to tag people. She learned last week how to put a picture on. There's no stopping mum now. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The more you do it, the easier it will become. Mum, that's out of focus. Blurry. And look, 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 look. Right, me and you, selfie. We're going to turn the camera around. We'll take one more, mum. Let's, let's go again. Mum, <laughs> Last one. Last one. Last one. Okay. Right. Smile. Eyes open. Let's have a look. Oh, <laughs> mum. <laughs> right, mum. Last time. Serious business now. So go into Facebook. 
you can tag them by writing the at symbol and then their name or you can tag me in this picture so if you tap face to tag mm -hmm. so if you just start typing in lisa and then click on me and then click done and then post you've um you've tagged them <laughs> see face facebook masterclass facebook masterclass <laughs> we've got a plan we've got jobs to do today so I want to take mum to the leisure centre. We want to check out what they've got for older adults. As you know, oh. I am I am a huge fan of Pilates. And I've been like, mum, you need to go to Pilates. That's my answer to everything. You just ask Glenn. And like, Glenn moans about aches and pains. I'm like, Glenn, you need yoga in your life. He ain't interested. Anyway, we're going to go to the leisure centre. And then we're going to go to the crematorium. Now, there's a good day out. No, it's not. It's not a good day out. We're going to the crematorium because there's an event coming up, yeah, isn't there? a festival of light. A festival of light. And mum's got some tickets booked. So um, we're going to go and pick those up. Mum wants to go to McDonald's. <laughs> and then we're going to go shopping. So that's it. Busy day. Let's go. Let's go see if we can find just Pilates class, Mum. Yeah, that'd be fun. It would be. So we've arrived at the Leisure Centre. It's actually really close to Mum's. We've come in the car because we're off to other things, but it'll be easy for her to walk. Anyway, let's go see what we can find. So we've just been in the Leisure Centre. What did you think, Mum? It's good. Yeah, it's good. loads going on there. So we've been to the crematorium, picked up the tickets for the Festival of Light. So I just picked Glenn up. Glenn's been on hold to the holiday company on that we... for over an hour. Yeah. Well, I've, I've heard this message about a hundred times. Waited and waited and waited and then it, it, someone just cut me off. <laughs> no! Are you still on hold? Still on hold. Has that just cut off? Yeah. You on hold again? Oh, I'm as well. I'm sitting here. <laughs> it's open till ten. So I thought at quarter past nine, ten past nine at night, people might have done. They, they might have given up. Yeah. Not you though. I must. I must stay. Here. Um, Warner, W A R N E R. That was a bit stressy. <laughs> Yay! Holiday booked! Good morning. It is Thursday and holiday booked. So I'm doing holiday packing. And Mr. Warner, because he's a man of many talents, is sewing a button back on my trousers for me. Looks a bit odd. No, no, no one will see it because I always wear long tops. Oh man, we've got a slight nightmare here. Um, Glenn came down here, the foam all down here, just wiped under. it up now, and under the, the floor. Do you remember the handbag that was full of chocolate? Well, I thought I'd run it through the washing machine. So it's on a setting I've never used before. I put a tiny bit in, and this is what it's done. And there was foam everywhere. <laughs> that's that's his bowl, it's a big bowl. It is. And I'm, I've got the bit from Liam, this bit, because I didn't have one big enough. So that yeah. saved me buying one of those. Um, so yeah, it won't, I mean, I can't, I'm, now I'm going to start stripping all this front down because I need, to, the bit I've got to take off is this whole bit here. But I, I've got a special tool coming to pull this pulley off because you have to be really careful when you take that off. Okay. And I've bought a special tool which cost me 15 quid called okay. a hub puller. Okay. Um, I know you can make them up with some other things because I've watched them. <gasps> ben! I've watched some edge. Oh, that's, that's not me, that's not me. Give me a towel or something. I just don't know what's happened. Maybe there's some sort of coating or something on the... Um, bag. On the bag that's like reacted with it. Maybe you just put too much in. No, <laughs> I'll put a tiny bit in. Just if I haven't got enough water ingress. <laughs> that, who, you with your bloody chocolate handbag. Right, gonna hang that there. See if it can dry and then we'll have a look. You have devised a new packing method. Oh, yeah. 
you're rolling your clothes really small yeah and then Put my stick bands around <laughs> so in here is my three t-shirts my swimming shorts two pairs of socks and a shirt so it's thursday night craft and social gathering tonight just off to costco for the uh, weekly cake run handbag came up out okay amongst all that that froth the inside is chocolate free can't wait till that dries i'm gonna start using that again oh that rain's done the herbs good christmas too early there's a competition for the uh, best decorated narrowboat maybe we should get these glenn's thinking about getting a carbon monoxide alarm for the camper should we get those yeah let's do it and well, these were the most sickliest gorgeous donut oh let's do those instead yeah yeah there won't be more than nine people do you think not only did I get the most delicious donuts for tonight's Creative Thursday social gathering, I bought three Christmas presents as well. I know, I know, I know. But anyway, I'm well pleased with what I got. Can't show you because two of those three presents are from your mum and she, as we know, is my biggest YouTube fan. So mum, you got your two little presents. Anyway, anyway. Go so much on the little huge but no they're not huge mum don't get your hopes up well they're quite they're quite they take up a bit of real estate <laughs> i mean they're in the back of the smart car so they're not like <laughs> they're not that big anyway anyway enough enough of this so tonight tonight's creative thursday it's trying to do balloons in it i'm a hate balloons I'm, I'm a little bit nervous i am a little bit nervous anyone who knows me know that i have a strong dislike of balloons at one point my strong dislike of balloons almost i would say tipped over into a phobia but i was <laughs> i've been trying really hard to become balloon friendly so i took one of our granddaughters to a birthday party uh, a couple of months ago and there were loads of balloons there not only were there loads of balloons there but there was children jumping on the balloon but I didn't want to show her that I was scared of balloons because I didn't want her to then think that it was something to worry about so I sat there and told myself I'm not scared I'm not scared I'm not scared anyway Duncan is going to show us how to do balloon modeling tonight and I'm a little bit you nervous really know what that's all about. oh you've got to like blow them up hold them like yeah. turn uh, uh, twist them around some of them are gonna pop it's making me nervous thinking about it but i don't want to be like all drama about it and we're here at balloon modeling one balloon has already popped you even touch it. yeah it just popped no one touched it it popped on its own glenn and duncan have i can tell a real skill at the moment i'm just watching I think that's the best of the evening. Your sword. My very straight sword. So balloon modelling this evening has been amazing. <laughs> He's done the modelling. That could make London Fashion Week, that could. <laughs> Single balloon model. There's one more. Oh, I'm not sure on that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we think we may have invented a new game. It's balloon modeling and then see how many you can wear on your head. I think we could be on to something here. Turn around very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> good morning and welcome to friday glenn's gone to the office and i've been making a mess i don't know if you can see but i was looking for one thing and then ended up didn't find that one thing ended up pulling all the paperwork out glenn's gonna be so chuffed when he comes up 
What you got there, Mr. Warner? 13 piece harmonic balance puller. What's it for, darling? Because I'm taking that front cover off. Yeah. At the moment, that's what that big nut was holding. It's the bottom right. pulley which drives all the fan belts. And basically, because it, it, it's, it's been on this since probably it's new or a long time, um, it, it's pretty much welded to the to the spline, which is through the crank. So you can't, you, you have to be really careful with it because you don't want to damage it. So I did try and make a tool to do it, but it was, um, I didn't risk it because it's just not worth it. It was about 13 quid, this was. Okay. So, and, and it can be used for loads of other things. Well, so, when you plan to do that? In a minute. Oh. Okay. I'm going to try and see if it works. Just because uh, then I'm ready. To then I'm just going to take about eight bolts out to take the front off. So, um, okay. And then I can see what's going on with me linkages. That's all I'm doing. And once I've fixed that linkage issue, I'm going to put it all back together mm. and just wait for the diesel pump, and then that should. It should all work. That's the theory. Been trying to persuade Glenn to go out this afternoon don't think he's going to be up for it we're going to the zoo tomorrow really hope it's not raining right mr warner do you want to know where we're off to okay central milton Keynes. there is a festival of creative urban living i like the sound of it already anyway there's lots going on um which we're not going to have time for today but what we're heading to we're heading to the meeting place. Socialise and things. Would move through the building and you'd be drawn through it as you just in places around the city. Condition. Um, so you can see the extent of well, that was really interesting. There was a lot of architectural talk. There was a lot about regenerating Milton Keynes. And it was very interesting, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was. It was great. <laughs> God, look, it's not even eight o'clock yet and it's like... Pitch. Dark. We're going to the zoo. We are going to the zoo, zoo, zoo. You can come to, to, to. Come on, let's go. I think Laura's already here. Beth's not far away. Not sure where Naomi no, is. I spotted Laura and Ollie and Layla. Hello, my darling. Have you got that? That's fantastic. Big it has got big wheels, hasn't it? Look, there's Layla as well, and Mummy. <laughs> Your tooth came out. Let me see. Oh my goodness. Look who's coming. Can you see them? Who is that? I'm surprised how I didn't fall, well, like, to be honest. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Where the hell are they? These, these leaves are whoppers. <laughs> Out though. He's trying to get some grass. They didn't like grass. I think so. Aren't they so cute? Let's see what we can find. That's um, a fox bat. Oh, Layla's off. Come and sit on the bench. Come and sit on the bench. Get, uh, get Layla on your lap so Leo can get in. Do you want to go on my lap? Here we go, here we go. Who are we missing? We're missing Mia. Come and squash in so we can get all grandchildren together. Nemo! We need Mia! Can we have Mia? Mia Mia cats 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 Mia
these beautiful, beautiful plants. They're gorgeous, aren't they, Beffy? Anyone want an egg sandwich? Oh yeah, definitely. Yes, please. Yes, please. Wow. Look at these Can you see him? He's walking slowly. She's <laughs> tired. What did you get from the shop? Fridge magnet. A fridge Hurrah. magnet. Hurrah. Well. Well, that was... that was not a bad week, was it? No. <laughs> it wasn't. The good side of the thing, I've managed to get the front off the engine. It wasn't as scary as I thought it was. I must admit it was stuck on it and it's never been off before. It looks like it was a slightly bent bit of linkage. You don't get much movement on it. it I've just straightened it all out. I've just bought a little tool because I've got to take the old gasket off. It's a little scrapey tool. I've got a new one to go on and I'm going to try and put it back together, put the front back together ready for the pump to go in. I've just spoken to the bloke about the pump and he says that should be back. He's on his way back from Greece now. He said he should be able to have it back to me by the end of the week. We'll be away, but hopefully it'll, I'll get it delivered somewhere where I can get hold of it. And then I should have it before when we get back and we've got two days before we go away. So I should be able to fit it within those two days. I feel much better going away knowing that the engine's all good ready to go out on that little trip at the end of the month. I cannot wait for our engine to be working again. Again. Do you promise me once it's working yeah, and once it's running, sweet as a nut, you just like... As long as it's not leaking diesel or anything. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna, if it, I'm not gonna worry about it to do this, to do what we've got to do. But if it's, if it's leaking diesel, still that will need to be addressed at some point, not by me. Anyways, anyway, anyway, so, we've got to so, go. Cause that's enough about that. Glenn, just before we go, tell me what has been your favourite thing this week? This week? Yeah, the week just gone. What's been your favourite thing? Today's been a good day. And the rain managed to hold off, so we didn't get too wet. Yeah, that yeah. is very cool. It's always good seeing the kids have a good time. It is. It is. Today has been my favourite day, also. Anyway. We're going to leave it here. We will see you next week. We're off to the Isle of Wight next week. Yeah, so so prepare with us. yourself for Isle of Wight adventures. Anyway, we'll catch you next week. See ya. Bye.